This course is based on a six weeks uh, bootcamp done in the city of Barcelona in 2021. This course is targeted for the people who want to be a part of a professional team of developers like students that are considering to study computer engineering and want a boost to know the basics of professional software development. The reason why this course is called uh, 1 to 7 is because, in the case of 1, I have used it instead of 0 because in order to start this course you would need to know some basic arithmetic and trigonometry concepts that are learned in high school. Also, it's recommended, not required, that you have done some basic tutorials about the most basic programming concepts like variables. On the other side, I have used it 7 because in the scale from 0 to 10, 7 could be considered the necessary knowledge in order to be a junior software programmer that could consider to apply to a software development entry-level job. The knowledge learned in this course could be classified in four areas. Team workflow. You will learn about the software development team workflow and how you can work synchronized with your colleagues. Architecture. High-level concepts not connected with any tool or programming language that software programmers use as a foundation to work together. Tools. The framework or uh, game development tool that we are going to use to apply the previous architectural concepts. Basic programming syntax. The syntax of a programming language. The lessons of this course are in the lesson zero, we will start with an introduction of myself and the creation of your first Unity project. In the lesson one, we will see an introduction to basic programming concepts like public and private variables, methods and backlash. In the lesson two, we are going to create the player script where we will control a first person camera. In the lesson three, we will expand the previous player script to add more functionality. In the lesson four, Time for an introduction to the concept of inheritance using vehicles with wheels as an example. In the lesson 5, we study the concept of inheritance related to game development, with the player enemy and NPC scripts inheriting from avatar script. In the lesson 6, we will see the first design pattern, the finite state machine pattern, and we will use it to add behavior to some game elements. In the lesson 7, we are going to create a global manager for the game. We are going to create the script game controller. In the lesson 8, we will see the design pattern called singleton pattern and where we can use it. In the lesson 9, the next design pattern we are going to learn is the component pattern, a pattern that you have been already using it a lot. In the lesson 10, we will be introduced to the design pattern called observer pattern. In the lesson 11, we are going to learn something only related with Unity, prefabs and animations. In the lesson 12, we will work in the implementation of a camera controller in order to be prepared for the next lessons. In the lesson 13, time to start working together with other programming colleagues. We will see an introduction to the version control system. In the lesson 14, we will see a concept related with artificial intelligence that is the navigation of our units in a complex scene. Now we ramp up the difficulty with more complex topics. In the lesson 15, we will learn to use another design pattern, the command pattern, that we will use to give commands to our units. In the lesson 16, we will apply techniques to make our code more modular and scalable, with an introduction to the solid principles. In the lesson 17, we will learn about the design pattern model view controller and we will apply it by using Unity's scriptable objects. In the lesson 18, we are going to adapt our project to work also in multiplayer. In the lesson 19, it's time to see an introduction to virtual reality development. In the lesson 20, we will learn to adapt our project to work also in mobile devices. In the lesson 21, we are going to introduce to the concept of namespaces and we will use that to create libraries. In the lesson 22, 
Time to learn some advanced performance techniques with Unity Dots by applying them to our project. In the lesson 23, we are going to learn how is the workflow in a professional software development team. The way this course works is like this. I will introduce a concept and then I will ask you to do progress related to that concept. Every time you see motivational shear is the moment that you will be asked to work on that concept. Since I won't be next to you to solve all your doubts, I have recorded all the coding process of the task I ask you to do. You can change the video speed in order to go through all the typing that I have done, but all these exercises are meant to be done by you, and you should have all the necessary knowledge up to that point. There will be always links to the source code, always at the start and the end of each lesson, so you will always have the code available to compare it with your progress. Finally, thank you for your interest in this course, and I hope it helps you to be a good member of a professional team of developers.